welcome to this um, CEM calculation video. Here we're going to cover some air water movement and heating and cooling calculations. So we're going to cover an ASHRAE 62.1 calculation, an airflow heating calculation, a water flow heating calculation, and a psychrometric calculation. So let's look at this problem. If a wood or metal shop has an area of 4,000 square feet with an occupancy of, of 60 people, let's see what the ventilation um, rate would be using the ventilation rate procedure and what the uh, design outdoor airflow would be for the room. So um, this is the general equation. Um, it looks more complicated than it is. Basically, you have a, a rate per person of air that you have to bring in, and you have a rate per area. So this is to supply fresh breathing air when there's people in the room, and this is basically to get rid of any um, contaminants that might be in the room um, at all times. So um, we look up in the table um, in ASHRAE 62.1 um, for a wood metal shop, these two parameters, the RP and the RA. So those are given in the um, ASHRAE 62.1. And then um, we take that there's 60 people, so that's going to be PZ, and 4,000 square feet is going to be the area AZ. And that's what we, we do the calculation, and we get 1,320 CFM. Now let's look at heat airflow. So if an industrial process needs 900 CFM of 350 degree air, and the input air going in is 50 degrees, how much heat must be added to this process per hour? Um, so heat flow Q dot um, is going to be 1.08 times CFM times delta T. So, um, and this equation is for air. So that's um, a nice equation to remember because um, it's, it's, uh, it has CFM and delta T sort of built in. So 1.08 times the 900 CFM, which we get from up here, times the change in temperature, which is 350 minus the 50, and it gives us uh, 270,000 BTUs per hour. So the other thing to notice is that this is Q dot, right? Because it's an air flow, it's a heat flow. And the way this equation is set up, this has to be in CFM, this has to be in um, degrees Fahrenheit difference, and this is in BTUs per hour. All right, so the same thing, similar with uh, water. Um, the only difference in this one is... Um, in this case, we have 100 GPM of 180 degree um, Fahrenheit water, and the input water is 60 degrees. Uh, how much heat must be added? So again, the Q dot um, is in um, BTUs per hour. I actually did a little conversion here. Um, so when you do this, you get um, 6 million um, BTUs. So I just converted it to 6 mm BTUs per hour. But again, the equation is 500 times GPM times delta T. So we, if we, ha we have a water flow, so we get a heat flow, or per hour. And so we just input the, um, all the variables in there, and we get our answer. So last but not least, psychrometrics. So whenever you, um, you know, see a problem where you're, you have a dry bulb temperature, or a wet bulb temperature, or dew point, or relative humidity, and it's asking for, like, another um, sort of thing of the air, you want to just make sure that you look at your psychrometric chart right away. That's probably your first best bet to do this. And um, there is a psychrometric chart in Doty and Turner on page 811. And if you use the chart here, you get about 75% um, relative humidity. And sometimes the chart, you know, you're not going to get, some people might get 73% or 70% or 80%. So um, you just want to choose the multiple choice answer that's closest to what you get. Okay, there's all the problems for uh, this section. Thanks for watching.